Hello there, I'm Dark Shades and I just wanted to talk to you about the imposter syndrome. Uh, what is the imposter syndrome? First of all, if you like it, you put a thumbs up. If you don't, you put the thumbs down, you share and subscribe. So yes, the imposter syndrome. The imposter syndrome is where you don't feel worthy. You don't feel as though you're entitled to have the good things in life. And that's normally because of conditioning and programming from you growing up. So you grow up feeling that you're not worth whatever it is you get. It could be relationships, it could be career, it could be jobs, it could be a situation where you want to apply for a promotion, but you don't think you're worth it. Even though you know you can do it, you think, oh, somebody else is more deserving than I am. If you get um, if you get recognised, you kind of push it to one side, oh, I'm not really all that great. That person is much better than me. That person deserves it more. And so you actually, when people applaud you, you feel like a fraud. You think, oh, you know, they don't really know me. They're just saying that, but it's not really who I am. I'm not really that good. And that's what the imposter syndrome is. It prevents you from getting what you deserve. It prevents you from claiming what's rightfully yours. Because deep down inside, you have the fear that you're not worthy of any success, of love or anything. So people who have, who have the imposter syndrome, they're not, they're not short of company, you know. When you think about Jennifer Lopez, she sold 70 million albums. She suffers from the imposter syndrome. She's more or less saying, look, you know, I don't know how people are buying all my records. I don't know why. Um, Jodie Foster, when she got her Oscar, she said it was a fluke. Mayor Angelo, after 11 books, she says, oh, when they find out, when they read them, they're going to find out they're not all that great. It's people like that. So you don't have to feel bad or guilty if you don't feel worthy. You just have to recognise that you could be stopping yourself from accepting what you deserve because as women we are conditioned to lower our expectations we are conditioned not to shout from the rooftops our achievements we tend to keep it on the down low and so a lot of times even if you feel as though you've done a lot you don't really want to say you've done a lot and you or what you've done is not really worth recognition. It's just, you know, something that you've done. So let me just make sure I'm eating this sweet because I've got a sore throat. Um, people who believe that they are imposters believe that someone else deserves success more than they do. They feel like a fraud. It affects women more than men. Women conditioned to downplay their abilities, especially in the UK. If you mention, if you, you have to keep it to a certain level, otherwise you're called arrogant, you're showing off, you're vain, and you get all this negative feedback. So you have to keep it on a certain level. But the, what they're saying is, is that if you suffer from the imposter syndrome, if you don't feel worthy of any anything that you achieve, whether it's a good relationship, some people, they... A good person comes into their life, they reject them because they think they're not worthy of that person. Or they think that that um, relationship, or they'll break it up on some frivolous relationship. It's like jobs. Some people, they'll be asked to apply for a job that's above, higher than them. And then they'll start questioning, oh, I can't really do that. Oh, no. And they go for the interview and they flunk it because inside they don't feel worthy. So what um, the specialists or the psychologists say is that if you track your successes and your stumbling blocks, then you'll be able to have a realistic assessment of yourself. So if on one column you put all your successes, just do it for a year or you might be able to do it for longer, and then all the stumbling blocks, and then how you overcame those stumbling blocks. So you feel justified 
that you are worthy. Because not only do you have your successes, but you will see your failures, but you also see how you got through those failures, come out on the other side, and it made you even better and even more worthy a person of the success in the first place. Um, so that applies to failed relationships, failed career choices, failed finances. Um, so, so you've messed up with your finances. It doesn't mean it's the end of the world. You just learn from it. Learn from your errors. Learn from your mistakes. Get through it. See how you got through it. What steps did you take to get through it? A lot of times we take how we get through challenges for granted. So something goes wrong. Like I remember, like say, for example, um, my tea shop. I was relying on somebody to help me. That person said they weren't interested in doing the shop anymore. So I had to think, I could have said, okay, I'm going to give up the shop. But instead, I thought to myself, how am I going to um, still manage the shop, still be reliable and still be able to cope? And so I put in place a system where, okay, I know I can offer these amount of days. I'll advertise these amount of days and I'll make sure I'm there, God willing, for those days. And I'll just do my best to work within those days and hope that the business picks up. So, of course, it would be great if it was there for six days. But sometimes when things, when you feel as though something is failing, it doesn't have to mean that you failed. You can find your way through it. Just don't give up. That's the key thing. Don't give up. Just look for different ways to get the same or a similar result. Each failure is a step towards success. And like I said, you know, when, I, when I'm in that shop, I'm using that as an example because it's what's happening to me now. Um, I had a lot of people, there's buying teas, all that, there's all selling teas, they're selling them out, putting them outside the front shop. I've never seen so many people sell herbal teas since I opened up um, the herbal tea shop. So I decided I'm going to get all the herbs and make my own herbal teas. I can make specialty teas and signature teas. And so, you know, if people come to my shop, they're not just coming for a cup of herbal tea off the shelf that they can get anywhere. They're coming from a TIHTK signature tea, something that's specially blended, something that suits a particular situation or a, 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 a particular event or whatever it is. I can create teas for specialty teas for particular ailments, events, whatever it is. And that makes me different. But if I hadn't had what somebody might have called a failure, everybody's selling teas, nobody's going to come into my shop because they can get teas over there and they can get it for cheaper and this and that, then that attitude would not have pushed me to think of something new to do. So all I'm saying is that sometimes we have to just track our successes track things that go wrong, see how you overcame what went wrong and to put it right and see where you are now. Accept failures, stop overanalyzing, um, get rid of the self-doubt because that's we all do that. We all doubt ourselves, we second guess ourselves. Our instincts are telling us one thing and yet we still second guess. So just make sure you, you follow your instinct, follow your spirit. It doesn't, it never steers you wrong. When you feel something, you know it's right. And stop people pleasing. It doesn't matter if people don't like you. Not everybody's going to like you. Don't worry about it. You know, people would dig at you, say nasty things. It's life. Don't be affected by it. Or try not to be affected by it, I should say. I can't stop people from feeling what they feel. But just try. We're all students of power, self-worth and prosperity. And life is an ongoing course that we have to take. Just diligently, just pretend that you're taking a life course and you're going to school every day and every little every day you write something about, about your life or what you've achieved or what went wrong and how you overcame it. And then you'll find that you've actually um, graduated from the life course 
and that's all for now. Bye-bye.